Cow-calf producers with spring calving herds may be looking forward to using some uh, winter pasture such as uh, small grain or, or wheat pasture because the prospects look pretty good with the moisture we've had this late summer, early fall to uh, growing some wheat pasture this winter. If we plan to use wheat pasture as uh, the protein and, and energy for some uh, adult cows as they go through this winter and into the calving season next February and March, I'd really suggest that we plan ahead and start to put together a mineral program to match uh, that particular situation for those cows. You see what I'm concerned about is the fact that fast, rapidly growing small grain pasture, such as wheat pasture, is notoriously low in the uh, mineral element magnesium and can cause hypomagnesia or what we often call grass tetany right after these cows calve next spring. This is a particular, particular situation that is most likely to occur in older cows. You see their skeletal structure is less capable of mobilizing elements such as magnesium and calcium when they first calve and are producing the greatest amount of milk. And that's when grass tetany is likely to occur. Our best preventative measure for that is to provide a mineral mix throughout the course of most of the winter and into and through the calving season, a mineral that contains magnesium. I would have one mixed that's about 12 to 15 percent magnesium, put it out so that those cows get used to consuming that mineral mix at the rate of three to four ounces per head per day. That way we'll be getting enough magnesium into them that really should lower the risk of grass tetany if they uh, get in that situation next spring. If we'll go ahead and do that now and get those cows used to consuming that much mineral, then I think we can really reduce the risk of grass tetany. Mineral nutrition has always been something that's uh, kind of been a black box, uh, confusing for some ranchers. There's some help available. Go to the SUNUP website. That's sunup.okstate.edu. Look under the show links and there you'll find a link to a really excellent bulletin called Vitamin and Mineral Nutrition for Grazing Cattle by Dr. Lawman here at OSU. It does a great job of describing the mineral needs of cattle under different situations, different pastures, and, and different production stages of, of the cattle's life. I think it's one that can really be helpful to you. Download it and read it, and I think you'll find it really helpful as you plan your mineral needs on your herd. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.